Hey guys, so today we are going to factor by grouping. Okay, so we have this expression. Okay, we have x times x minus 1 minus 9 times x minus 1. So what I first off want you to recognize is that you have an x minus 1 and an x minus 1. So if I factored, uh, this is already factored for me, just so you know, uh, I can take out an x minus 1. And then I can look to see what is left. So if I take out the x minus 1 and the x minus 1, notice that there is an x squared minus 9. Okay? But it is not done yet because I can still factor x squared minus 9. If you'll remember, x minus 1, I put that there. If you'll remember that x squared minus 9, if I factor it, is also is x minus 3, x plus 3, because this is a difference of two squares. So uh, that's because x squared, if I take the square root of it, is x and x, right? The square root of 9 is 3, so 3 and 3, and these are opposite signs, minus and plus. Or it could be plus and minus. It doesn't need to be in any particular order. And that is how you factor by grouping.